Shabbat Shalom, Makim, all praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Bashem, Al Shai, Bashem, Rakakudash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace and blessings to you, uh, fellow Akim out there pushing his word in true sincerity. Okay? So I just want to do this quick little uh, video, very quick. I just want to hit two points, um, pretty much, in this video, which the Lord's want me to upload the video. Putin in a. Uh, uh, Pretty much, you know, talking to let's let's read down here. In uh, Saint Peter Saint Petersburg's economic forum, okay, where Putin Putin and other other leaders, uh, where President Putin. Let's just read the whole uh, little paragraph. The, the world's hot button topics have been thrashed out on state out on stage at the Saint Petersburg economic forum, where President Putin was joined by other major leaders from France. Japan and China, as well as the head of the IMF on Friday, okay, which the IMF is the International Monetary Fund, okay. So France, Japan, and China really are supposed to be uh, are supposed to be uh, alliances with America, okay. But what did what did Putin say? He said in his quote, "It says Europe depends on U.S. for defense. Don't worry about it. We will help." And then he smiled. Okay, basically what you're seeing is you're starting to see um, more of these nations are going to rely on Russia, which is a biblical prophecy. Uh, when you go into Ezekiel the 37th chapter, okay, uh, Russia being a guard unto these different nations. Okay, uh, also you go on Obadiah it talks about the men that were uh, confederate with thee, the men that <clears throat> eat thy bread. Okay, in Japan. Uh, China, China eats the bread of America a lot. Uh, France eats the bread of America a lot, meaning they accept these these bribes, they accept these uh, these 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 packages of uh, of money, okay? These this aid they receive America's aid, okay? And in turn for what military support or alliances, okay? Uh, economic uh, economic support, okay? So what did what did Putin tell these European nations? Okay, don't don't worry about America no more. Okay, don't don't worry about America. America is being phased out. Okay, and that's what we're seeing: America being phased out. Also, this is a uh, Revelation, uh, seventeen, the seventeenth chapter, I believe, is the sixteenth verse, where it talks about the ten horns shall hate the whore. Okay, this is this this is the time that we're in. Okay, we're in the time, we're in a year of prophecy. Okay, we're in a year of prophecy because. It's prophesied that all these nations will turn against America. They are once allied and confederate with America. Okay, and what do they do? They will, they will, um, they will conjoin themselves unto Russia. Okay, Gog and Magog, as known in the scriptures. Okay, so we're we're in that time. Okay, so you can you can you can watch the video. It's on, it's on uh, RT. Okay, and here it is right here. So this is the next thing I want to talk about. Kim Jong Un and South Korean president hammer out U.S. summit plans. Okay, because uh, Trump, he's just all over the place, okay? Trump is all over the place saying that the deal is going to go down, the deal is not going to go down. But look, but this is these are the two Koreas that are going to reunite back together, okay? Uh, this is part of biblical prophecy because all the allies of America are going to, are going to, uh, are going to dissipate, okay? They're going to leave America, okay? And they're going to hate, they're going to hate America. Look what, look what America's about. And, Everybody sees. Everybody sees that uh, that pretty much America is uh is 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 the devil. Okay, they're being exposed. Okay, let me let me just bring out one scripture. Okay, I'm not gonna really too elaborate too much on this, but I'm I'm gonna bring out this scripture. Cause it's this is un, we're in an unprecedented time. Where America, which was this great city that had all these all these people in awe, all these nations all that were able to subdue all these nations, is being broken down. Jeremiah 50, okay, and 23. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? Okay, see that? So how is this uh how has this happened? It's because the Heavenly Father is breaking breaking apart America. Because at one point it was inconceivable to even believe that America will ever fall from its power. 
But according to biblical prophecy, okay, Babylon, okay, which America codenamed Babylon in the scriptures, okay, is being broken down. The hammer, hammer representing uh, beating all the nations, hammer representing an instrument of, uh, of might. So this instrument of might that uh, Babylon was once this great nation that was able to subdue, subdue all the nations, put them under their rule, under subjection. Now it's become a desolation among the nations because all the nations, they're going to uh, shoot missiles on this place. Okay. And they're going to, they're going to destroy America. Okay. Let me see. Let me see something. This is uh, Jeremiah 15, 41. Behold, a people shall come from the north. Okay. Russia. And a great and a great nation and many kings shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. Okay. See that? So now um, all these nations are being raised up. Okay. They shall hold the bow and the lance, the nuclear missiles. They are cruel and will not show mercy. Their voices shall be shall roar like the sea and they shall ride upon horses. Every one put in put in array like the man like the, uh, like a man to to the battle against thee, O daughter of Babylon. Okay, the king of Babylon has heard the report of them, and his hand hands waxed feeble. Anguish took hold of him, and pangs as a woman in Terrell. And Trump might just be that that man. Okay, which we perceive, we believe that he's the man to usher in this Third World War. Okay, say he's not the man. Well, there's going to be a well. The, the Lord still has it to where this this war is going to take place. Okay. So all these nations, with with Russia being a spearhead, which Russia said that he'll that they will um, that they will uh, uh, protect the EU, okay. All right, so Ru uh, Russia will protect the EU. They're another they're another Edomite nation. So this is the time that we're in. We're in a time of prophecy, okay. We're in a time that all the Lord, the Heavenly Father, He's bringing all these prophecies to come to pass, okay. And He's showing you without a doubt that He's on His way back, okay. His Son is about to come. Let me uh, I like to read. I like to read this verse a lot. Jeremiah fifteen fourteen. Put put yourselves array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Spare no arrows, for she has sinned against the Lord. Okay. So this is uh the judgment from the heavenly Father from sinning against the Lord. Okay. You Babylonians here, you're gonna be destroyed. So the bow, and uh the bow and the arrow is representative of the nuclear silos and the and those nuclear missiles. Those ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles, which are going to be shot out from the four corners of the earth to hit Babylon. Okay, and the, and the scriptures talk about 200 million of these missiles. Okay, 200 million meaning uh, the whole stockpile of the whole uh, world's uh, 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 missile, uh, nuclear missile arsenal. Okay, which is nothing but the uh, righteous, indig righteous uh, weapons of the Lord, righteous indignation weapons of the Lord that are going to be shot shot off here in Babylon all these nations okay which has been building up since the 50s okay and they continue to build these missiles okay these nuclear warheads so you know I just wanted to do a quick little video hope you brothers are edified uh, we're in the last day shalom